All right, so we know the holiday travel season is here and every year it comes at the same time as cold and flu season. So what's the secret to traveling without getting sick? All right, to get the answer, our nine health Dr. Pyle Coley is here to help us separate myth from fact this morning. Dr. Coley, we go back and forth about this one because when I even start to feel like a little tickle in my throat, I grab for the emergency. I grab for those, you know, vitamin C packets. Do they actually work? Well, it's interesting. A lot of scientists <laughs> yeah, actually have looked at this. So vitamin C, it also has a little bit of zinc. It has some vitamin B as well. So what the data tells us is that it helps speed the recovery, but it doesn't help prevent the infection because by the time it sort of kicks in, by the time you feel that tickle, Jordan, those bacteria are already in there. Exactly. Okay, okay. And so overall, it can kind of help sort of speed up the, your symptoms, but really the best way to take care of our immune system, get a lot of sleep, don't drink a lot of alcohol, and have a well-balanced diet year-round so that you don't get that infection in the first Oh place. man, you gotta tell me how to say healthy year-round. <laughs> no quick fixes, okay. I know a big part of it is sugar too. I mean, you really want to limit sugar, and those emergency packets can have a lot of sugar. I usually offer the like low sugar ones. Not only sugar, but they can also cause upset stomach because you can start to get vitamin toxicity. Now these are water-soluble vitamins. You pee them out if you don't end up using them, but all of a sudden, if you're not used to having high doses of vitamin C, you start to take them. You can have ab abdominal pain, you can have nausea, you can have other problems as well. Okay, okay you'll get your five bucks later. <laughs> <laughs> so what about when you're traveling? I feel like there's this thing that you, you don't open the vents in the airplane because it circulates the air. Is that true? No, that's actually a fiction. You want to do the opposite. You want to open up that air vent. And I like to open it up. Sometimes I get cold and then I have to close <laughs> it. But it really is very, very good for creating ventilation. So it's almost like opening a window on the airplane. And what you're getting, that air that you're getting blasted to you is HEPA filtered air. So a lot of the bacteria, viruses, and all of those types of things, including particulate matter, have been filtered out because it's air from outside that goes through that HEPA filter and then comes to you. Also, what it creates is turbulence around the space in front of your face. And so if you think about bacteria or microbes lingering in the air, viruses kind of hanging in the air, it sort of pushes them away and pushes them down where they can then be pushed outside. Okay. So you're creating kind of movement around your face, which is like opening up a window. Getting so what fit. you're saying is everybody go ahead and pack those sweaters because we're opening up the vents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So you travel a lot as a doctor because you're traveling to conferences back and forth. So I feel like we need to take this opportunity to ask what you do to keep yourself safe and healthy. You know, I would say the biggest things that I've done is to start to be really mindful of where my hands are going and to be really mindful of washing. And I, what I did is I put a timer on my watch. So the Apple Watch has a new timer now that tells you when you, fin you can finish washing your hands. And it started to create a motor memory for how long I need to wash my hands, basically. The Apple Watch has that? Yes. What? Okay, what do I do? Like I just say, hey Siri, I'm washing my hands? So no, you have to activate the timer in the settings, oh, okay. which is called a hand washing timer. So every time you start washing your hands, it automatically triggers the timer and it Without you down. saying anything That's or doing right. anything. It can tell that you're washing your hands and then it starts counting down and I'm like, oh, still got five seconds to go. And then you get a sense of how long you really are supposed to wash your hands. Because otherwise we do the quick sprinkle and then we leave. I also don't use those hand dryers at the airport because that sort of spreads oh, germs. I, okay, I do everything, <laughs> everything wrong. wrong apparently. And then when you're opening the, the doorknobs, and especially in the restrooms, use a towel or okay. like a tissue paper or something. You don't want to touch them directely. Really quickly, if you don't have an Apple watch what like what's your option there is it like uh, happy birthday, birthday twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> twice not super fast but yeah. kind of at a regular okay. pace happy birthday twice so and that actually works and remember the backs of the hands I promise too. everyone I'm not a gross person I promise <laughs> I take care of myself as best as possible so Dr. Coley isn't at the sink every day singing happy birthday at the right. oh I, I am I'm like you're gonna hear my lovely voice in that I, bathroom, I sing it in yeah. my head so yeah. I don't get judged oh, but, no. <laughs> but have hand lotion as well because the other thing that happens when you actually wash your hands the way that you're supposed to that I've noticed my hands start to crack yes. you know and so you definitely want to moisturize because cracked hands are a, a portal of entry of bacteria germs and and what have you into your your skin okay we've been doing all <laughs> the things wrong I'm and then the last one in. that I'll say is the masks on the airplane oh yes. and so when you're getting on that jetway I like to say I want to put my face in airplane mode because I do different things at different parts of the boarding <laughs> deplaning and being on the plane process so when getting on the jetway there's no ventilation a lot of people crowded I put the mask on when I'm sitting in my seat, people are boarding, they're standing ahead of me, I've got my mask on. The minute that door closes, they turn on that ventilation system, you can take a break because you know now that you're getting HEPA filtered air, there's not a lot of movement or activity and you know that the air inside the plane is generally cleaner. A lot of good advice, all right. Dr. Coley, thanks for being with us this morning.